In a previous lecture, we looked at the different types of content that I'm going to put on this website. And one of the most important types of content is the authority pages. These are the pages that contain all of the information relevant to the niche that I want my visitors to read. When I'm looking for the main authority pages for a site, I'll always start off the same way. I'll use Google and I'll also use Google Keyword Planner. But this is how I'd use Google. Just go over there, type in a highly relevant phrase, in this case, health benefits of krill oil, and then open up in new tabs the top 10 pages. And I'm not going to show you this entire process. I'm just going to summarize what I do. I'll open up the top 10 pages and then I'll go down the page and I'll pull out keywords that I see like cardiovascular health, joint health, brain health, Got EPA, DHA, women's health. Okay, there's a very quick run through of that page. Let's have a look on this one. This one talks about protecting your heart. We've already talked about heart health and we've already talked about brain health. And here it is again. We've got inflammatory pathways, so inflammation, premenstrual distress, boost immune function. Okay, so I'd go through these pages and I would pull out the main topics and ideas. You can see we can just go down all of these having a look. Omega-3 fats, I know that's important. Okay, and as I'm pulling out these words and phrases, what I'll do is I'll actually create a mind map. And the idea here is to just dump down all the ideas that you found. So we had women's health. We had brain health. Oops, spelled that wrong. We had cardiovascular health. We had EPA. Whoops, that's in the same topic. Let me just insert a new one. EPA. We had DHA. We had anti-inflammatory. Okay, and I will just get down all of the ideas from all of the top pages. And then once I've got them all down, I'll then organize them into a logical group. Besides the top 10 web pages in Google, the other place I like to go to for ideas is the Google Keyword Planner. If you've got another keyword research tool that you prefer, by all means use it. I'm just going to sign into the Google Keyword Planner. So here I am logged in. What I want to do is search for new keywords using a keyword phrase. And I'm going to just type in my health benefits of krill oil again. Scroll down, leave everything as they already are, the default settings, and then click on get ideas. Now the keyword planner does sometimes fail to bring things back, but if you just click the get ideas button again, you will end up getting them eventually. This time it's worked first time. And I can scroll down here now, and these are ad group ideas. These may be a little bit less important for you. I like to use them because sometimes they give me ideas for categories on my site. So benefits of krill oil, that might be a category. Oil effects, we see oil side effects. Those That looks like it's just side effects, maybe not. Krill oil supplements, obviously we're going to be selling supplements. Does it help with arthritis? Cholesterol, okay, these are more ideas. But really where I get most of my ideas is over on the keyword ideas tab here. So let's click on that. And you can then see health benefits of krill oil at the top. We can scroll down a little bit and we can start looking through the keywords. So krill oil gets a good search volume every month. We've got benefits, side effects. We've got something called red krill oil. And as far as I know, all krill oil is red. That's because of the antioxidant in there. But people are searching for that krill oil dosage. We've got krill fish oil. Um, Maybe people are interested to know the, the difference between fish oil and krill oil. Side effects. Let's keep scrolling down here a little bit. We've got supplements, cholesterol. And I would just go through these. I can go onto the next tab or the next page of the results as well. Carry on looking through them, making notes of these words and phrases on my mind map. So let's go back to the mind map. Let me show you the mind map that I actually drew for the health benefits of krill oil. And here is the final mind map. We've got health benefits of krill oil in the middle. We've got 
five, six different categories or groups. We've got benefits of krill oil, inside which we've got health benefit, natural health, skin, cardiovascular health, blood pressure, cholesterol, metabolic syndrome, triglyceride levels, brain health, heart disease and heart health. Inside krill oil versus fish oil, we've got Antarctic krill, krill oil supplement, krill oil and fish oil. Properties, antioxidant. And the antioxidant in krill oil is this one, astaxanthine. Also, it's anti-inflammatory. Then over on fatty acids, because there's a lot of talk about fatty acids, we've got hyaluronic acid, phospholipids, polyunsaturated fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA. Then we've got a category side effects, which doesn't actually have anything underneath that, but that would be a good topic to include. And then, of course, food and drug administration, because people are interested to know where whether it's got FDA approval or not, or if that is even relevant to krill oil. Now, at this stage, I don't know whether these things are important. For example, hyaluronic acid, is that relevant to krill oil? I have no idea. It's just a word or a phrase that I picked off web pages. I need to go and do a little bit more research. And that's where I'll now go back and I'll start researching these in a little bit more detail. So, for example, if I wanted to research cardiovascular health to see whether krill oil is related to cardiovascular health or gives cardiovascular health, I'll go to Google and I'll search for krill oil cardiovascular health and I'll have a look and see what results come up. I'll do the same for blood pressure. So blood pressure, krill oil, cholesterol, krill oil, anti-inflammatory, krill oil, antioxidant, krill oil, side effects, krill oil, fatty acids, krill oil, phospholipid, krill oil, hyaluronic acid, krill oil. And I'll see which of these are the important phrases that I need to include on my website. And this will help me further refine the list of articles I want to write. Now, I've already done that and I want to show you the list that I've come up with. And so I've got my list here and what I've tried to do here is to provide sort of a general t working title for the article. So I've actually got 20 keywords that I want to cover for main articles. So I will have 20 authority articles on the website. That's a little bit more than I was anticipating, but it doesn't matter. The bigger the site, the better, actually. So I'm quite happy to do 20 articles for this site. So let's just quickly go through them. We've got krill oil versus fish oil. That'll be one article. Health benefits of fish oil. That'll be another article. Fish oil lowers cholesterol. That'll be an article about whether cholesterol can be lowered to fish oil. Fish oil dosage. Fish oil for cats. Fish oil for dogs. Fish oil for kids. Be aware that these are just working general titles. I may change them. And although I've got fish oil there, I could substitute krill oil. I could say krill oil dosage, krill oil for cats. That will all come through when I come to write the articles. I'll see what is the most relevant way to approach the topic and then I'll write it. We've got omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 deficiency. What happens when you're deficient in omega-3? Omega-3 to omega-6 ratios for health. Fish oil during pregnancy. Fish krill oil side effects. Fish oil and vitamin E depletion. DHA, EPA. Fish oil for heart health, fish oil for healthy brain, the saturated fat and cholesterol myth, astaxanthine, krill biomass and sustainability. Now, these are the main topics that I found during my research of Google to see what were the points that I needed to include on this website if I wanted to have a comprehensive website about the health benefits of krill. So that is my list of 20. The next stage for me is actually to go through and find reference URLs for these particular topics. In other words, look up krill oil versus fish oil and find four or five references of, or four or five web pages I can use as references when I'm coming to write my own article, things I can refer to. So that was the next stage and this is what I've now got. I've got krill oil versus fish oil and then article research and I've actually got four URLs there that I can go and get information to include in my article. By including information from four, three, four, five authority articles already on the topic, I can make sure that I've got all of the great information that I need and I've got probably more information than any one of these individually. So I should end up with great content. And you can see that I've done that for all 20 of my articles. So now I'm ready to go and write the article. If I wanted to use an outsourcer, I could go to somewhere like Odesk and I could provide them with this text file now. Here's a topic. I would just say, write an article on this using these as reference, come up with a good title and then submit it to me. And I could actually get an outsourcer to do that. So that's the process I go to to find the best authority articles for any website that I'm creating.